Hello my dear students, welcome to the MS Science Academy. Myself Minu Srivastava and today we are going to discuss about the body movement terminology. As in the part 1 and part 2, we have discussed about the terminology and the in the part 3, we will discuss about the remaining terminology and in the part 1, part 2 and part 3, it's whole part of the terminologies. Okay, in, the, in these three parts, we have completed all the terminologies. As per my opinion, I have completed maximum and 90% terminologies. Maybe some are remaining, but uh, most important terminologies I have included in this part 1, part 2 and part 3. Now, come to the body terminologies. First is, that is the flexion. Flexion means the bending movement in which the angle between two bones decreases. Here, the two bones this is the humerus and this is the radius ulna and this if I am doing like this movement the bone angle decreases this is the flexion and if I am doing like this this is the extension the angle is increases so here the angle increases the bending movement in which angle between two bones same thing you have you will return you will write here and like this uh, as I have written in the flexion decreases in the extension the bone angle increases okay so in the diagram itself you can understood very easily that this is the flexion and this is the extension now the abduction the movement of limb away from the midline if i am doing like this this is the abduction this is the middle line and i am if i am doing like this this is the movement of limb away from the midline okay and if i am doing like this the body movement is towards the midline okay so abduction movement of limb away from the midline away from the midline and movement of limb towards the midline towards the midline okay so here in the diagram itself you can see very easily that the abduction and the adduction now the pronation movement of forearm in which the palm facing downward here the palm facing downward this is the pronation and this is the king like position okay this is the pronation okay now the supination the palm facing upward this is the palm and facing upward and this is the bagger like position okay so in the pronation the position is like this and the uh, uh, supination the position is palm position is like this and this is the bagger position and this is the king position understood now the inversion here i have written m dot m dot m dot means movement okay for movement i have uh, used that m dot short form m dot means the movement of sole of foot towards the midline medial line okay so in the diagram you can see the movement of the foot uh, the movement of sole it's towards the midline okay i i think you can understood very easily and in the inversion the movement of sole away from the midline as you can see very easily in the diagram that the movement of sole away from the midline okay so midline uh, the movement of sole away from the midline okay so in the diagram inversion okay so in inversion towards the medial line towards the medial line and away from the medial line now come to the elevation the movement of bone towards the upper side okay if i am doing like this Shoulder, shoulder movement it's a elevation if i am doing like this this is a depression elevation depression elevation movement of bone towards the upper side depression movement of bone towards the lower side towards the upper side towards the lower side okay so elevation and depression now reposition and opposition now opposition uh, before studying reposition i will study Opposition. I will discuss about the opposition. Opposition, movement of thumb and finger together. Movement of thumb and finger together. Movement of thumb and finger together. This is the opposition. And reposition, movement of thumb and finger away from each other. Movement of thumb and finger away from each other. So, this is, this is opposition and this is reposition. Opposition, reposition. Opposition, reposition. Okay, in the diagram itself, you can easily understood that that what is the opposition and what is the reposition. Now, come to the protraction. Movement forward and laterally simultaneously. In the protraction, 
the forward movement and the lateral movements occur simultaneously how is it possible if i am doing my shoulder like this if i am my doing if i am doing my shoulder like this so my shoulders are moving towards uh, forwardly okay my uh, my shoulders move forward okay and same time my scapula my scapula move laterally okay in the diagram you can see that the shoulder movements forward and the scapula movements lateral so this movement is also known as the anterior anterior lateral movement now come to the retraction movement backward and medially simultaneously so it is known as posterior medial what is the retraction if i am doing like this so this is the protraction if i am doing like this this is the retraction movement so if i am doing like this the shoulder movements in the backward side and the scapula move the medial line so in the diagram itself you can easily understand that the in the retraction movement the shoulder moves backward and the scapula move medially okay now what is the plantar flexion next movement is the plantar flexion the movement of foot of uh, sole of foot in which the angle and distance between the foot and leg increases in the plantar flexion the angle suppose this is the sole this is the foot uh, this is the sole this is the leg the angle is increase uh, sorry increases okay and the dorsif dorsiflexion the movement of sole of the foot and which the angle distance between the foot and leg here decreases okay so here uh, here that decreases this is the dorsiflexion and if i am doing like this this is the plantar flexion in the diagram itself you can see very easily what is the plantar flexion and the dorsiflexion now come to the other remaining terminologies also now come to the remaining terminologies that is the protrusion protrusion as the protrude word means the projecting outward okay so the project protrusion means the protrude means the projecting uh, something forward so the moving straight ahead and forward so in the protrusion if we are moving forward like this if i am doing my, if i am just uh, uh, the uh, if you can sh uh, you can see my tongue move protrude projecting forward or if i am doing my mandible like this so this is the protrude movement or we can say protrusion okay so if the moving straight ahead or forward this is the this is the forward movement okay or in the tongue movement this is the protrusion movement the retrusion moving backward so this is the protrusion this is the retrusion means backward protrusion retrusion protrusion retrusion okay moving backward now excursion excursion movement medial and lateral movement okay movement medial movement lateral then medial then lateral lateral medial lateral like type if you are making your faces then you can do excursion movement i think you can easily understand circumduction in the circumduction there are some two or three uh, some four movements are included like the combined movement is starting with the flexion okay flexion first is the flexion flexion means angle decrease angle decrease then abduction movement upper uh, the movement away from the medial line away from the medial line and then extension extension and then abduction adduction adduction okay so if i am doing like this if i am doing this make a angle make an angle then if i am doing the circulation movement like this so this is the circumduction so in the circumduction there are the four movements flexion extension abduction adductions are included this is the whole is the body terminology and now i think you have under, uh, you can uh, easily understand my lecture if you have any doubt
kindly ask in the comment section otherwise please like share and subscribe thank you